This part's a little tricky on our apron, but you can handle it. So this is called the facing and we cut out two of these. So they're actually gonna go on the other side. It will be on the inside, but we start by sewing it right sides together. However, because of the way that they were cut and sewn, they're going to be a little bit big. So what you need to do first is find the way it fits the curve. So this is how it fits my curve on both sides. And you're going to actually cut it a bit, but be really careful you're not cutting it to match the edge. You, you can see it. What we'll do is we'll just pin this facing in place and we'll flip the apron over so that you can see the edge of the fabric where your hem is and you can make a more accurate line. So we'll flip it over and you can see where it's hanging out, like where it's extra right there. So what we'll do is we'll take that seam allowance so this blue little guy helps us to know where the edge is. So I can take that chalk we talked about and you're going to find one centimeter on this um, seam gauge. So right there is one centimeter. You're gonna come in here and you're going to mark that. And then we'll mark it over here as well. Making sure it's flat when you mark it. So one centimeter is the overhang that we want. Okay, so when I cut it, I will see there's only one centimeter hanging over. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut all of those lines that I just marked. We're going to use our, our seam gauge here and we're going to fold it down a centimeter. So just a centimeter there, that's that centimeter we just marked off. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna press this. Okay, so make sure you pay attention to the right side. So you wanna be doing this to the wrong side. So you're gonna take your seam allowance, or sorry, your seam gauge to help you. You're going to get that one centimeter mark. Make sure you have it marked on your seam gauge and then you're going to just very carefully come in there and you're going to press that down. So you can see that I've pressed down my one centimeter allowance right there and I'm going to do the same on this side. So just one centimeter. So these are all now pressed at one centimeter. So they should fit perfectly on my apron when it's time to place them after I've sewn this. We're going to sew these that we've pressed down, but before we do, we want to finish this edge so that it is not going to fray. So what we're going to do is, you could use a serger, but we don't want to cut off anything. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to switch to a zigzag stitch. So I'll go to a three and I'm going to uh, keep everything else the same and I'm going to just zigzag right along that raw edge. We don't need to worry about back stitching for this. So you can see that I have zigzagged along the edge and that will keep it from fraying. So we'll do the other edges. So each of my edges now has a zigzag finishing on them and I can go back to press it closed. Now that it's pressed closed, I'm going to take that one centimeter seam allowance that I've just pressed in and I'm going to go along right kind of beside that zigzag or right on top of that zigzag. So remember to turn back to a zero so that you're going back to a straight stitch. And I'm giving it that one centimeter seam allowance to match how much I have there. So what I've done here, you can see on this side, there's just a straight stitch. 
but on this side you can see there's that zigzag stitch to keep it from fraying and then there's the one centimeter straight stitch right over top of it okay let's get rid of some of these extra threads we got hanging out here so just gonna go in don't cut your fabric but do go in and cut out some of those extra stitches um, threads just hanging out always collect your thread so that you can dispose of it at the end and um, not leave a mess on the floor because that's not fair to the janitors for them to have to clean up 